You've You're got gloves on, I haven't. I'm quite concerned. Well, this is just in case I have to handle a dog. Okay. I'm sure you've seen gloves before. You've ever yeah, seen yeah, no. Well, I'm not going to ask you to bend Slightly longer with the arm length when you've got cows. What we're going to do, this is actually a lovely champion bitch of Andrea's. Um, and we're going to try and show what it takes to mate a bitch and the certain formats of what we're trying to look for. The dog actually is outside. He's ready to come in and mate the bitch, all right? So we're going to try and see how it goes. But if you were bringing your bitch today, say this is your bitch and you've asked him to mate yeah. it, I'll say we put it in a pen. We don't let it run around the garden, around the field. And what we do is we let the dog in to start with, let him get a climb close to itself. And you'll see, see her pushing her tail up in the air. That's what we were talking about flagging. So when you tickle her tail, she'll push her tail to one side. So she's actually presenting herself to him. And then he'll jump on her back. Okay, that is very and long, hopefully he is straight up for it. But what you'll find a lot of times is a lot of bitches will be aggressive at this stage and they don't want to be mated and they certainly don't want to be mated naturally. All right? So what we're going to do is show you what we would do to help him out, okay? He's waiting outside. Do I let him in? In a minute, we're going to let him in. But if we were to say this bitch was a little bit aggressive or you have a problem, it's a first time bitch or you haven't mated it and it's first, you know, it's an older bitch and you've never mated it, what we would do is handle it. Andrea, it's her bit, so she's going to hold the bit. You're going to let the dog in. I'm going to kneel down, that's what the gloves are about. I'm going to kneel down. You, can you kneel down, please, madam? And I'm going to hold the bits like this. So I'm going to hold her properly. If you could let the dog in for me, take him off the lead. Oh, he's got so keen. Hold on one sec. There we do. And I will help him. That's really the true way of handling them, making sure they're in the right place, doing the right job. Right. Now he is now mating her. He's about to... From the point of view, he's now ejaculating. So we're okay. And then, whoa, he's come off her. And then that's what you call slip mating, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring him back in in a minute when he cools down. We all go on about tying. Now, what happens is when you're doing it manually, you're putting it in for him. So. The bitch itself, she will clamp down on him, and he has a knot there. So as it pushes in, she clamps down, so she has to be contracting, and then he will swell up, and it's there. They don't necessarily have to do this. What it is actually designed to do, it's actually in nature. Nature's way, if he was a fox or a dog running around in the wild, he could come up on, on her leg, and he could just mate her like that, ejaculate, and walk away. Yeah? Yeah. And he hasn't done the job. So nature's invented it that he will continue to try and mate her until he ties. Myself, by having my hand there and being able to do it, I know that he's put it in the right place. Yeah. So they don't necessarily have to tie. We're going to bring the bitch back down again and allow him to mate her again, and then you'll hopefully see the tie. Okay. The knot's gone right in, and so he's now clamping on her. You'll see now he's ejaculating. Everything's okay. He's going to calm down when you're out in the wild. It's a really vulnerable part of your life. So what will happen is they both freeze now. If I could just take my lead from you, Ollie, so I can hold the dog. So they're now tied. Now this is all to do with now, if you just pull the lead up, she'll freeze. She'll now freeze. Just pull her tail across. So she's, there you go, she's fidgeting. Now he's tied to her. This is what you call the tie, okay? Sometimes when I get really bored, I give him a bowl of dog food and then that takes him, his mind off the job and he finishes. At this point, the uh, the semen has obviously entered the bitch. Yes. So it, it, it's, uh, essentially the job is done. Yeah. Um, it's nature's way of saying he's actually done the job properly. We've had this one uh, ovulation tested. She's actually now right on her middle of her days. And so she should take now. And then 63 days later, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah you will get a litter of puppies. So we've been still here for 10 minutes yeah. and they've still tied. How long can a tie last for? How long do you last for? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thanks for that, Dave. For more on Countryways Gundogs, go to countrywaysgundogs.com.